Hey guys, I thought I would show you a couple ways that we can uh, get started using Jupyter Notebooks um, for these assignments. So I have an assignment open on GitHub and this is the one that's in my repository. If you're going to uh, do this assignment, you'll want to fork this and create a copy on your uh, GitHub account. And then uh, you're going to want to get this uh, assignment with the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, here's the readme.md file uh, giving the assignment instructions. And you'll notice there is a Jupyter Notebook that has this extension IPYNB um, in uh, the repository. I believe if you go click on that file, GitHub does actually show you, it will display Jupyter Notebooks. So uh, here's what the Jupyter Notebook will look like. Um, you can't run anything, but it does show you uh, what it would look like in GitHub. So uh, we've learned two ways to get these files on your computer. The first was by going to the code button and downloading the zip file for this folder. And um, my computer is set up to download these to my um, downloads folder. So if I go here uh, in my computer and go to downloads, you'll see that my uh, file downloaded right there. And if I click on that, um, you'll see that I get the option, uh, the extract options here. This is in pink. And I believe if I click on this, and hit extract all that it gives me this um, window where I can extract uh, this folder. Um, I could move this to any other folder I wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to leave that in my downloads folder at the moment and um, I can extract it and you'll notice that this option I'm leaving checked should to show extracted files when complete and what that will do is it's going to extract that folder so that it's not compressed anymore and then I'm going to have the same files that were in my github repository my readme.md file and my python basics Jupyter notebook um, from there I could run this in a Jupyter notebook and I typically like to run my Jupyter notebooks from the web interface and I have installed Anaconda and um, in Windows if you go to the Windows and Anaconda on the menu you'll notice there's an option to start a Jupyter Notebook directly. Um, you can go into Anaconda Navigator and start it up um, but there is an option just to hit there before Anaconda Navigator so I'm going to open that up and you will see a black screen open up um, this is actually a server that serves uh, Jupyter Notebook files. So um, you'll want to leave that black screen running. And then you'll notice that you get this um, Jupyter Notebook um, page. And you'll see a bunch of folders. And if you look in your own uh, Windows browser, you'll notice that the folders match um, pretty much what's on your um, computer. So you'll see this is 3D objects. Um, I have a box on this computer. Um, contacts, couple things. You'll see there's the desktop, documents, downloads, um, and then some other things that it correspond. So Keep, keep your file into something that is on one of these main folders, whether that's your desktop or documents or downloads. I know this was in my download folder. So if I want to navigate to that Jupyter Notebook, um, if I click on the downloads link, and it's going to open that up, and um, there is that Python um, basics intro that I downloaded 
And when I go into the folders, you'll see there's my Jupyter Notebook. And if I click on that, then it will run this Jupyter Notebook in a web browser. And um, you can then go through and complete the exercises. This first one says, write something that's going to print hello world. And you can run that. Um, sometimes you'll see these play buttons there. There is a play button up at the top. Also, if you're in a cell and you hit control enter, it will run the code in that cell. Uh, I've been on some computers where it didn't show these play buttons next to the cells. Uh, in this laptop, it, it seemed to keep that setting. So I don't know why it shows it sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Just to prepare you in case you have a computer that's not showing that. Uh, just click inside the cell and hit, and hit control enter and it will run that. Uh, you can um, change the name of this uh, notebook up here in the top um, and give it a new name. Um, if you use this uh, method to um, run your code, then you will need to uh, load this. Uh, if you use the zip method to download the repository, you will need to re-upload this file once you've completed it to your um, repository. And you would do that by going back to your repository and going to add file and upload files and then you could drag your file back into Python. I don't want to add that file to mine. Once you add it, then you're going to hit commit changes down here at the bottom and your new file will be uploaded to your assignment repository. And then you can go to the main folder in your rep assignment repository and copy the URL and turn that in for your assignment. Uh, we also learned another way to um, get this repository on our computer and that was from using VS Code. And if you want to try and download that, then you would start up VS Code. And once it does that, we can go to the command palette and we're going to use the command git clone. If you type in git, you're going to see all the git commands and usually you can select the one you want. And then it wants the repository URL. And if we go back to our GitHub repository and the code button, we can copy the URL there and go to back to VS Code and paste that URL into the window and hit enter. And it's going to make us find a place to keep this. And I'm going to save this in a different place. I'm going to go to Documents. And then I have a place for repositories. I'm going to go select that folder and select repository location. It says it's cloning and then ask me, would you like to open the cloned repository? And I'm going to hit open. Um, if you didn't hit open, it's easy enough to get to that re repository by going to file and open folder and navigating to it. Um, and you can open up your repository. And you will notice that um, I do see both of my files that were in the repository. And if you installed the Jupyter Notebook extension, you can actually open this Jupyter Notebook up 
right here in VS Code. Um, if you did run this, um, you can run the cell. And you'll see sometimes if this is just starting up for the first time, it takes a minute to um, start up Jupyter Notebooks for VS Code and to run that. Um, I, in the past, have found this to be a little bit buggy. And I found the interface kind of cluttery for running Jupyter Notebooks. Um, totally up to you. Um, if you do want to clone your repository this way, you can still run this notebook in the web um, interface, which I personally just like better. And um, you'll see that I had navigated to the downloads folder. I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to hit the back button and you'll notice I'm back to where I was with that in my new folder that I saved this repository in was in documents and junk and repositories. And then here was my Python ed basics intro. And you'll see there's my Jupyter notebook. And if I go open that up, then you'll see that I had run that code in the other one. It's the exact same file as it was. I, I prefer this web interface, but if you want to try Jup uh, Jupyter Notebooks in VS Code, that's okay. But um, if you are using uh, VS Code, you can um, take advantage of the ability to sync a file. So you'll notice that um, since I did change something on this cloned repository, it, it did uh, show up in my version control and I could uh, go to that and put in a commit message um, which would be remember these commit messages are just for you to keep track of multiple commits so anything descriptive that means something to you and I would check the box um, I'm not going to commit this and upload it because I don't want to change that file in that repository um, and then I would hit the sync button so um, there's two ways to open, uh, to get the repository on your computer and to uh, work with it in Jupyter Notebook. I hope this is helpful as you're working on your assignments. And um, I will see you guys in class.